Hey friends, meet Tina. Mrs. Rosie, her math teacher, has given her an interesting activity. Tina has to measure different objects in her classroom. Watch the movement of Tina's hand span carefully. She is using her hand span as a measure to find out how long the blackboard is. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 This blackboard is 8 spans long. Let's see what other ways are there to measure. Watch Tina's feet carefully. She is using her feet to measure the doorway of the classroom. It is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 feet long. This doorway is 7 feet long. Tina used her hands and feet to measure the objects. Now, Mrs. Rosie has given her a stick to measure this desk. See how Tina uses the stick to measure the desk. 1 2 3 4. This desk is 4 sticks long. Hey, Tina is enjoying this activity of measuring different objects. Are you enjoying too? You know, just like a hand span, feet and a stick, you can use your scale or pencil to measure different objects. Tina is using her old pencil to measure how long her school bag is. 1 2 3. This bag is 3 pencils long. Now it's time for a test. Place the hand on the window and click to measure how long the window is. Key in your answer and then click on done button. Try again. Now place the pencil on the table and click to measure how long the table is. Key in your answer and then click on done button. Well done. The table is 5 pencils long. Let's summarize. You have learned how to measure different objects using hand span, feet, stick and a pencil. 